Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at healthier choices management, taking some more HCMC, along with Marlin Automotive and Bitnow Holdings. But firstly, I want to take a quick look at HCMC. So the earnings hasn't come out. And again, like I said, guys, it doesn't always come out on the day it says on trading view, but something is for sure is that we should be expecting it soon. If you guys want a more in-depth view of what we should be looking out for, I covered it in my previous video, so you guys can go check that out. As the earnings it hasn't been come out yet, it's still relevant to understand what we should be looking out for. If you don't want to watch the video, a quick summary is pretty much we are looking out for how much the previous acquisition for the IV therapy cost and how much revenue that is they're making for HMC and how much cash we are sitting on still left, minus the recent acquisitions that they have obviously done in um, response to obviously the mother of storehouse, the wellness center licensing agreement and such so that is pretty much what we're going to be looking out for and the earnings report will be good for the short-term and long-term investors as well now what do i want to quickly cover in today's video about hcmc firstly is that right now we are having other opportunities potentially for hcmc as well for those of you who are aware and keep up to date if you look at amc today amc has actually gone up 44.91 percent now amc went extremely well to the chart it was actually a swing trade opportunity for me i held multiple times and added in multiple positions um you know because we talked about and this is a very long time i know i haven't made the video but in my last ever AMC video, I talked about how at 14.5, it was a good level for me to buy it. And since then, I have been averaging every time it's hit 14.5. So it has gone extremely well, 105% as of current close. But what this is saying is that AMC, the quote unquote meme stocks are getting attention again. Now, there are obviously other reasons for why HMC is getting, you know, the attention it is. But what this means is that we could be potentially looking at another season where all these meme stocks kind of get a lot of attention and they start going up. The word we could be using here is obviously pumped. And so what does that mean? Well, that means firstly, we could be seeing HMC going up in um, the short term because of everyone putting their money back into HCMC just to get, get that quick return. But one thing is for sure is that unless we see any earnings, any catalyst, if we were to see a movement like that, definitely understand that that is not there to stay. If we suddenly see HMC going up to 0 0.0014 without a catalyst, unless there is insider trading, the probability of it staying at 0 0.0014 is extremely low and within a week, we'll definitely see a drop. But what I do want to highlight is that potentially we could be seeing as some good short-term opportunity. So make sure you stay aware. Make sure, you know, not to, not obviously to say to stare at the chart for HMC every day, but make sure you tune in, you know, pop in and out of this chart to see if there's any news. Now, I suspect that it's going to take a while. Firstly, we're going to see everyone take money out of AMC, GME, and all of the whatnot before they come into HMC. But is that potentially we could be seeing what we saw last year again coming in for HMC. So this movement here, we could be seeing it coming back on HMC. So definitely do be prepared for that. Not to say it will happen, but it's something we should be preparing for. Now, again, I'll be making that video on AMC for those of you who are um, wanting to watch that and maybe some potential next level to buy. I've recently made 100% on AMC and, you know, I'm looking at more opportunities for that. But some of the stuff I do want to talk about is firstly, Mullen Automotive, so M-U-L-N, ticker symbol. And so we are sitting at 2.45 with a post-market price of 2.58. So Mullen is kind of dropping. Now it hasn't dropped drastically. There are some obviously areas to be watching out for. One of the reasons for why it's dropping, firstly, we're resisting that 3.35, but again, the volume is low in comparison to before. So we could still see be, be seeing a lot of buy volume coming back in for Mullen. It's just that right now people are taking their profit because for those of you who are not aware, Mullen has gone up quite a big amount of 683%. So it's only normal for people to obviously take profit but there are still big shareholders who have bought in at a low price, which is obviously um, at an extremely low price and are holding it still. And so they are pretty much the ultimate decider for Mullen Automotive. And so if we look at the chart, firstly, something we can see is that they obviously resisted 3.35. And this is the level I talked about in my video. And again, guys, if you want to make sure that you stay up to date with the technical analysis to make sure you don't get burnt out in the market, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. But as you guys can see, we resisted the 3.35. We see it going down. Multiple reasons. Firstly, this resistance was quite a strong resistance with volume. We then saw the RSI approaching that 70. Now, it doesn't mean just the moment touch 70 itself, but something that is 
um, supposed to do is to signal to us that we could be potentially seeing selling and which it has done. And in this case, it actually did it quite perfectly, I guess. And so we knew there was going to be selling. And now we are seeing the drop. You guys can see what this price action today. Now, normally when you see a candle like this, it is meant to signal a reverse. This particular candle shows us a lot of selling, but people are trying to make it stay here. Now, when you see a pink candle like this, it normally means a reverse. There are also technical analysis that supports us as we are sitting above the 50 MA. You know, we can see that 50 MA bounce. Now, one thing is for sure is that there is still potential in Mullen Automotive. And the next level we do have the break is the 3.35. So that is something we do have to watch out for. We have actually covered all these gaps, so this is okay. There is another gap, obviously, down here, as you guys can see, that we have actually never even seen it go below to cover that. And so if we do continue to see selling, we are going to be seeing it dropping a bit more, but that's okay. If we do drop to 1.69, it is just another kind of better area for those of you who still want to buy into Mullen to obviously consider. But if not, obviously, again, none of this financial advice do take a while to take around. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research. You know, if you don't obviously want to get into it, there is nothing to be worrying about. You're not missing out. You're not, you know, don't make sure you don't have FOMO when it comes to trading. But obviously, the you know, the lower, the better. And so one thing for sure is that we could still be seeing selling because of the gap. But this is signaling that we are looking at a reverse. So that is something that you do want to watch out for. Now, to conclude, what should you be watching out for Mullen? Firstly, look out for the reversal that could be happening tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll kind of decide how we're going to see it for the next few days. So make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow. You know, see how it reacts to the 50 MA. If we were to see continuous seeing selling, then we are most likely going to be filled, uh, filling this gap created here. If we do, we're going to hit 1.69. Now you could argue that there's also a gap um, here that potentially to fill, which is of, of course very true, but 1.69 was also a volume that is proven to be of support or other support that's proven to have a lot of volume. And so, you know, we are going to be likely to stay above 1.69. If we do, we're most likely going to be looking at kind of it dropping to 1.69, then bouncing it back up to that 3.36. And again, if we can break it, obviously we're going to be looking at a high momentum upwards. So that's where you should be looking out for Mullen. And now finally, we're looking at Bitnow Holdings, take a symbol N-I-L-E. So since I last covered it, it was at 0.72. I talked about the potential that we had in BitNow of what it is. Essentially, if you're buying to BitNow, for those of you who are not aware, is that firstly, you're buying into a crypto mining company, but also a holdings company of Mullen Automotive. They have 10.9%. And finally, they also have a company that they do want to take public, which again um, is public on the NASDAQ. And so when you buy into BitNow, you're buying multiple things. And it's really like a bundle, which again has good potential. We saw it at 0.72. Since then, we're now at 0.95, which is obviously up 30%. So that's already extremely good. Post-market at 1.02 of 40% and at the highest point of today of 44%. Now, you know, what we're looking at here is pretty much a standard pattern, which I also tend to trade when it comes to, you know, just day trading of a breakout pattern where this kind of signal, uh, signifies the resistance. And so in this case, we have actually broke above the resistance and stayed above it. And so, you know, this is showing good momentum upwards. We saw a lot of volume today trying to bring this down. But again, you know, despite that, we still quite close, quite high. We saw a gap up. So again, when it comes to these gaps, it is scary because normally gap fills does tend to happen. But when you come to a stock with so much momentum, it's only normal to see gaps. But what we're likely to see is that probably continue going up. Now, one thing to watch out when it comes to bit now is that it's going to be extremely volatile and, you know, contra you know, kind of in a way contradicting of what I said with these gaps is that whilst we aren't likely to see these gaps fill, we doesn't mean we rule out the possibility of that happening. If we were to see um, kind of it dropping the gap and trying to fill the gap, it could create a snowball effect of dropping. When we try to fill the gap, we can see the price going all the way down to obviously 0.83. That would be a huge candle depending on where obviously we start the candle of the day. When people see these big candles, especially on a stock like this, that is risky, people are tend to sell. Again, then there is another gap all the way down here. Now, you could say it's all the way up there, but I want to say it's all the way down there because we have filled all the way up there. So when we see a gap here, if we were to see the price fill this gap firstly, as you guys can see, we will see a candle of this size of this red bar that you can see. Then people start panic selling where we go even further down. So we could potentially see 26%. Now, when it gets around to this area, again, like I said, there's a whole 
distance of this gap over here where you know that could potentially be filled as well which creates more selling and more panic selling and so that is one of the possibilities that could happen that is obviously the worst outcome but then when it comes to that make sure you are prepared whether you want to take a short position or if you just want to get rid of your position and just wait for the opportunity to buy in at 0 0.5 again because again bit now is something that is short term but also long term because of what they have anyway guys thank you for watching i'll catch you guys next time